I contact the mothers um, monthly and to see how they're doing with their pregnancy, see if they have any questions about breastfeeding, treat them like a friend, um, treat them with kindness and being, just be caring. It's very bonding between both mother and child, but also with the breastfeeding counselor and the mom also, because you're getting to know them and they're trusting you and you're helping them out with something that's going to become long term for them and making sure their baby's eating well. Well, I'm a dietitian and nutritionist in, there's, in a maternity clinic, and we also do WIC there. So we had a young mom that came into us who was um, in need of our services, working herself, and her husband was also working and a full-time college student. When she, when she came back in, it was to let me know that she didn't need to continue with the WIC program anymore. Her husband had secured a very good job, and um, she didn't need our services anymore. She they were in the process when their health insurance kicked in a few months to planning their second child which is I consider a success story simply because she's planning her pregnancy um, and that they had moved beyond needing us which is really why we're there I think to help those that that need us at the time but hopefully also empower them to move on and not need us any longer I, I do enjoy um, co-workers, you know, the, the contact with, with the other professionals that I work with. Um, and, and some days can be a little difficult because we do work with a wide variety of clientele in different programs. But um, I think most of the t I think it would probably be almost a selfish reason because I feel good when I leave at the end of the day and I think that I made a difference even if it was small. Some days it's harder to find that difference, but other times it, it really hits you when, it, when you know that you've impacted someone in a positive way.